Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed for ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. Today I'd like to share with you a shoebox that I have packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl and you can probably tell by the wrapping paper it's a panda theme. I have packed this in a standard shoebox as I typically do except that it is one funky shoebox. Look at how this thing closes. Can you see how that opens and closes? I have two of them. This was it. It was an Adidas shoebox. Is that not the weirdest thing? So both sides tuck into this slot and whatever that is, not quite an inch, but you can't pack your box all the way to the top and stick these in the way they're supposed to be. So I just wrapped them and I laid them over flat. No, it doesn't close tightly, but with the rubber bands around it, it holds it closed and then they're going to tape it in the middle. So I'm figuring it will work. <laughs> it's got to work because I'm sending it in this shoebox. And I have another one that I'll probably use because it's a great size shoebox. So enough about the shoebox, but I just had to show you how weird that was. <laughs> when she opens her box, this was another challenge. It was a challenge to wrap it too. I taped inside the front of an old Christmas card that I got that I had saved because I knew I was doing a panda box. It says warmest winter wishes on it. And then this is what she'll see when she opens her box. One of my favorite things in her box has got to be this adorable panda faced glittery zippered cosmetic bag. And I did have it filled up and stuffed and it looks really cute that way when it's full but um, I couldn't pack it with these big pom-poms over his eyes and uh, filled up. It just wasn't, wasn't doing well in packing. And I picked this up at Dollar General on clearance. I did uh, leave a couple of things inside and that was a little organza bag filled with jewelry. A gold cross. This also came from Dollar General on clearance. Did I put it on the back? I don't remember what I paid for it. I was looking on the back to see if I wrote it on the back somewhere, but I didn't. And four pairs of stud earrings. Can you see the little pandas on there? And then she's got some rhinestones, some hot pink ones, and some gold leaves. And they're stuck into a foam sticker, a la Sharon from East Coast Stories. And I put them on a silver glitter foam sticker because her cosmetic bag here is also silver glitter. I think a 10 to 14 year old girl is really going to enjoy all of these. The colors in this box are of course black and white because it's a panda box with a pop of hot pink. You'll notice that's why I gave her those hot pink earrings and then she's got quite a few hair accessories in the box but I left these on the card because it's a panda card and it was perfect for this box because it comes with a hot pink and white uh, like velour scrunchie and then one that's black with little gold dots and kind of uh, an organza kind of sheer fabric. I thought those were cute too. The theme of the box was built around this adorable Gantz Webkin's stuffy this little panda. He's just got this pot belly and this shaggy coat. Is he not the cutest? He's got to be one of my favorite plush in my stash. And I've got a couple of, of this same panda. This was one of the freebies donated by the collector that uh, donated to me her collection of Gantz Webkin stuffies. And he is just so huggable and lovable. I love this little guy. And then her coloring book is a lot of fun. Shine Your Light, 112 pages of coloring fun. Has a little panda up in the corner. 
I picked this up from the Dollar Tree and I thought the graphics in it were just too much fun <laughs> for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I marked the pages that had pandas on them. You're more powerful than you know. Let's see what else we've got. Pandas and koalas. And I marked this page with a brand new sheet of stickers from the Dollar Tree. These just came out and I loved that they had a hot pink background. And then I think I've got one more page marked. Believe in your abilities. A little panda holding balloons. I marked that one with a sheet of fun stickers that have dinosaurs and monsters and it looks like a game playing panda and a unicorn on it. And some of the other graphics are just really cute for this age, I think. So I really like her coloring book. I gave her a little pad of panda note paper. This is magnetic. She's got something to stick it to, but of course she doesn't have to. She's got a pack of 24 colors of crayons to color in her coloring book. Uh, the paper in this coloring book is more like newsprint than that white paper. So I felt that the crayons was a better medium than uh, colored pencils to give her for that particular book. I was really, really excited that I could finally fit this Contigo water bottle in a shoe box. I got this bottle, actually came in a two pack, uh, one hot pink, which is why I really wanted to put it in this shoe box, and one was like a smoke gray. On clearance at Walgreens after the summer for I want to say five dollars so this would have been 250 and it is a really nice quality water bottle it's got this little loop to hang on to it and it pops open let's see auto pop there we go I just really love it um, I'll go through the contents of this shortly Let's just put it over here for now. One of my new favorite things to include in 10 to 14 girl shoe boxes this year are compact mirrors. And I found this one on Shein.com. I love it. So cute and it's such nice quality. I was really pleased with this. I think she'll enjoy having that. She has a game, a set of dominoes contributed by Izzy and it comes in this nice wooden storage box with instructions. Those are great. She has a bright colorful t-shirt in hot pink with a panda on the front and I just happened to pick this up relatively recently at Kohl's. It was I think it was regularly priced at $14 but it was on sale half off, so it was seven. And then I had a $5 coupon from doing an Amazon return, because they give you coupons to shop in their store when you do your Amazon return at Kohl's. So that brought it down to $2, and they had a 30% discount on top of that, which took another 60 cents. So I paid $1.30 for this. Just perfect for this shoe box. Couldn't be more perfect. And I gave her a couple of pairs of underwear, girls 14, and some socks in hot pink. And then I have a pair in aqua with a panda corn on it. Very cute. So she's got two pairs of socks and two pairs of underwear. I gave her a really nice pair of sunglasses that I found at the Dollar Tree over the summer and I put it into this panda print drawstring sunglass case that I also found at the Dollar Tree and it just happens to be the same print as her wrapping paper. And the sunglasses are the Blue Gem brand and the shape it's just so cool, I think. I gave her the black ones because 
around the panda's eyes are black and I thought it went great with her shirt. She's got a pair of black flip-flops and a fun polka dot print. Very cute. A black velvet headband. That was nine cents from Target on clearance a couple of Christmases ago. And three glitter-filled bangle bracelets. They're filled with hot pink, silver, and gold glitter. And I clamped them together with this one uh, gold clamp. You can see how it clamps. These bracelets were actually purchased separately. Each one came by itself with one of these circle clamps on it. But I bought three of them at Dollar General on clearance for 18 cents each, I think is what I paid for them. And um, I just got rid of the other clamps and clamped these three together. And I think they're great for her outfit. She has a little silicone fidget toy in hot pink and yellow that makes popping sounds. This came from the Dollar Tree. Something else that I recently picked up on Shein.com for this box is this compact hairbrush, and I had to have it because of the colors, black and hot pink. <laughs> and when it was all said and done, I think I only paid like 50 cents for this. I gave her a couple of bamboo toothbrushes because pandas eat bamboo. She has a craft. I put together a little friendship bracelet making kit with some of the friendship bracelet thread contributed by Denise L. And then I just put it in a little baggie. I picked out four really bright colors for her and gave her some illustrated instructions on how to make friendship bracelets. She has a cute panda puzzle. Puzzle bug, 100 pieces. I got this at the Dollar Tree back when they were still a dollar, I believe. And I slipped the puzzle pieces into a resealable zippered bag, collapsed the box, and laid it in the bottom of the shoe box so that she'll have uh, a place to store the puzzles. She can reconstruct this and also have the picture of what her puzzle's supposed to look like. She has a spiral notebook for school, of course, with a panda on it. I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. A zippered pencil pouch for her school supplies from Angie, which as you can see is empty right now because her school supplies are in her water bottle. She has a pair of seven inch scissors for school with a hot pink handle contributed by Joan and a black drawstring backpack with hot pink trim. It's, it's actually another pencil pouch that converts into a drawstring bag, and I left the little tag on there that says so. The drawstring bag stuffs into this back pocket and closes with Velcro, and then the zippered portion is another pencil pouch, and I stuffed inside there the hang tag that I kept because it had information on it about what it is. But I gave her also a separate pencil pouch just in case she either found this an inconvenient way to store her pencils or maybe she m might want to use it for something else. I wanted to give her something separate from her backpack. Okay, since we're doing school supplies, let's go ahead and open up her water bottle. Since a lot of her school supplies are in here, I'm gonna go ahead and dump all this out and come back. Okay, for starters, she has eight pencils, four of which have a cute panda design on them. The other four are sharpened. Now, I will say, putting pencils into a water bottle is not my favorite thing to do, particularly if they're sharpened. So what I do is put the eraser side down so that the lead does not touch anything else in the bottle. Still not ideal, but if you're gonna pack a water bottle, sometimes you just gotta pack inside 
whatever fits in order to fit the bottle in your shoe box. And in this case, it just happened to be a lot of school supplies. She's got a multicolored pencil. I keep finding these packed in shoe boxes. I keep thinking I'm, I'm out, but it, evidently I'm not. She's also got one of those fun push pencils, a red, black, and blue pen, and a hot pink Sharpie highlighter from Angie. She has some cap erasers and a white block eraser. A couple of handheld pencil sharpeners, one of those small ones and a cute panda one that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. A hot pink six inch ruler that also has centimeters on it. These are from Angie. A hot pink bounce ball also from Angie. A hot pink jump rope and a fun novelty pen with a hot pink pom-pom and panda on top. She's got an organza bag filled with hair accessories. She's got a couple of hair coils, some colorful braided elastics that I got on Shein.com, some butterfly claw clips in assorted colors. Those are also from Shein. And some cute metal snap barrettes from Annabeth. Hot pink, black with stars, a little panda, and another pink star. She has a pink plastic whistle. In another organza bag, she has some hygiene items. And these four by six organza bags are indispensable. I use them for so many different things. These were also contributed by Annabeth. Inside she has a pink comb from Angie. She has an emery board in a bamboo print. Again, because pandas eat bamboo. And the items that came with that emery board, it was a whole little set from the Dollar Tree. Came with a nail clipper with the green on the front. One of those cuticle pusher thingies, whatever you call them. <laughs> and a nail brush. And also in that little bag are a couple of mending kits contributed by Joan Cowan. So that's everything that was in her water bottle. And just a couple more things to complete this box. Her prayer card, I am with you always. And I included with that a cross, hot pink painted cross from Hobby Lobby that I attached a black satin cord two, and an assortment of cute skateboard stickers from Shein. And a couple of them are pandas, and then some other just cute animals of sorts, strawberries, cactus, and some butterflies different colorful butterflies. And that completes this really adorable panda-themed shoebox for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I hope you all enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration for your shoeboxes this year. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. And thank you everyone who contributed to this shoebox. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next shoebox unboxing video. Bye now.